Right, the best way I've found to ban someone is to download something called Tmod. Um, pretty much it's a server wrapper of some sort, I guess you could call it a server wrapper, I don't know. It's like a mod to the um, the software for Terraria, that, well the server software for Terraria, that just makes things a whole lot easier. Uh, you download it from tmod.biz, uh, they've got a download on their front page there, click me to download, that's an old version, or you can go to their forums and go to the download section or releases. Um, no idea why it has this background. I'm not going to ask to be honest. Once you downloaded that, you will get a folder filled with this. Now, you can't run it straight from there. It says you need to move it to where the Terraria server.exe is, and that is in your. Well, uh, obviously, it's going to be in your C drive or whatever your drive is called. Program files. Go all the way down to Steam. I've lost Steam. There's Steam. Steam apps. Common and Terraria. Once in there, you stick all the stuff in there and double click Tmod V3. Um, some little things, or the main important thing that comes with it is the config file. Uh, I don't think you really have to touch anything else. I edit the config file using Notepad++ which is just because that's the default on my computer and that's what I use. Um, it's got all sorts of cool stuff in here. You can uh, require alphanumeric name. Um, okay, hardcore characters, rollback trimming, whatever that is. Uh, you can allow mass destruction, um, kick people, use explosives, ban people, use explosives, ban water, spikes, lava, uh, allow chests. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff. It's it, it gives you like complete control, or almost complete control over your uh, over your server. You got a plugin directory. I think they've got a few plugins on their website too. OPs, you type in your um, external IP in there, you get that by looking up, I don't know, what is my IP.com, just stick that in there, and then you'll be an IP OP when you join the server. Um, there's a load of other stuff. you got spawn rate of monsters and slimes, so if you hate slimes, ch change the spawn rate so that they don't spawn. Um, it's as easy as that. Up the top here, you've got the port, bind address, I, I, I never really touch any of that stuff. The world path you might um, have to look at because I'm not sure what world it will take. If you've got several worlds, I'm not sure if it will offer you the choice of, well, give you a choice of changing worlds or it will just go straight to one world. But if it doesn't go to the world you want, change that. Pretty simple. Not sure what's going on here. Looks like there's meant to be an extra bit in front of the server password. You can change the uh, message of the day, like, I don't know, welcome to the seed, oh god, crafts, um, server, yeah, let's do that, but it's just, it's just an easy way of banning people, and I haven't even got onto the part about banning people, once you're an OP, you can go in game and say, huh, I don't like you, forward slash ban, then their name, simple as that, then they're banned. It bans their IP as well, I think, rather than the name. So much easier than uh, what was the old way of doing it? Going into your firewall. Um, God, I don't know. It was a handful just to try and ban someone. So yeah, that's an easy way of doing it. Simple and easy. I'll put uh, links in the description in case you didn't write them down or listen. 